Hey folks, thanks for clicking on the video, where today we will be reviewing two flight sim products. First, we have the CH Flight Sim Yoke, and second, we have the CH Flight Sim Pro Pedals. Let's take a closer look at them. The first thing you might notice about the CH Flight Sim Yoke is that there are many different buttons, all of which can be programmed to do a different thing, set to what you want it to do. I personally use this as a throttle. This is the mixture. And this can be used to adjust the RPM, but I don't fly many prop planes throughout the simulator. I also have my gear down, gear up, as well as flaps down, flaps up. I use this for a trim, however this is preset to also be used as a trim. I don't have any use for these two buttons yet. I use this to scroll around and look around the cockpit. And two buttons in the very back here I have for landings, which is reverse thrust and spoilers. The pedals obviously don't have any buttons, which makes sense because they're only to be used by the feet. Of course, both go forwards and backwards as well as toe brakes. The pedals have sticky gel pads so they won't slide as you're using them. A standard USB plug is all you need for these products. Remember they work on Mac and PC. To clip on the yoke, take the clips and slide them underneath where you're going to try and clip the yoke onto. Then twist them counterclockwise until they're nice and tight. Once again, it's simply a standard USB that can plug any either into a Mac or a PC. Now, we are ready to take off. So we're going to look down, set our flaps, I'll do 10 degrees right now. Once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and Bring our throttle forward, you'll see that that went. Release our toe brakes. Should have done that earlier. Oh, then it looks like it didn't calibrate 100%. And it's going to go a little to the right, where we can adjust that. But for now, we'll just accept it. And if we start to roll down the runway at lovely St. Martin, which I will be uh, going on a trip to in a couple weeks, so please subscribe to be the first to see the videos of that. Now that I'm around 110 knots, I'm going to go ahead and pull back. This should be enough to maintain flight. And it is, so we will cut back and we'll check our landing gear is going to come up. It is. We can test some from the maneuvers. Coming back into our virtual cockpit. Everything seems to be going well. In flight, it's easy to adjust your view. Don't get carried away with that. Make sure you keep flying. And it's a pretty great product. The only problem is uh, it's a little hard to support on my desk. So it gets annoying that it falls off during flights. And so that's some basic maneuvers in this plane. So now we can. Uh, Test how this thing handles in uh, landings. We have to make some adjustments every once in a while, of course, when we just get to landing. So we're going to bring our speed down. We're really fast right now, so I'm actually just going to cut the throttle. Our gear is down. I set that. We are low, but I can live with that. And as we come in, our Pappy lights tell us we're a little low, but it's a spectacular sight for our friendly watchers at St. Martin. And we'll pull a flare, we'll touch down, ooh, that's some floating, it's going to stay on the ground. 
There we go. Speed brakes and reverse thrust are set. We can get our toe brakes activated also. If we switch, you'll see we'll stop in time. Pretty bad landing, but it just shows that you can make successful landings with this. You can take off reverse thrust. Speed brakes. And I'll just stop with the armor here. So that's the basic review of the uh, flight yoke and pedals. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And have a good day.